All right, we are going to go ahead and get started. So welcome you guys to all of you who are able to make it on. I am Kenya Horton, and if I haven't met you, I just want to say hello to all of you. And if you're watching the playback, uh, hello to you as well. You guys can comment on this video if you have questions. So what I want to go over is calculating PIPs, how to properly calculate PIPs. When I was new and learning, <coughs> calculating PIPs was so difficult to me. <laughs> Going through IML Academy, Deze does an excellent job, but I just needed it so you guys know me, I'm like the dumb it down, make it super simple type of person. And so I just needed it broken down, like very, very simple. And when I would get on YouTube, I would find things that talked about like our metric system and all these different technical terms. And I just wanted it very, very simple. So that's what I want to accomplish today. And I want this to be interactive. So if you guys could grab a pencil, paper, Make sure you have something to take notes with because I'm going to give you some examples of calculating your take profit, your stop loss, so that we can make sure that you're properly doing it correctly. And then I'm going to also show you how, for example, I quickly calculate like my take profit and my stop loss on my phone when I'm trading the web analyzer or on my own without swipe trades, for example. So let's go ahead and hop in. So basically, what is a PIP? A PIP is just it stands for point in percentage, and it's nothing more than a unit of measurement that expresses change of value in the market. And I'm gonna go over that and kind of show you on the chart, which you probably are familiar with, but simply the PIP is just the fourth digit after the period, or if you hear IML Academy, they'll say after the comma, they say. But it's basically the fourth digit after the period, and the exception to the rule with yen pairs is that, um, with yen pairs, you, are, you have three digits basically after the period or the comma, okay? So in a regular normal pair where you have your fourth digit after the period, your fifth digit is considered the pipette. And normally what I do is I completely drop the pipette. So I'm gonna show you an example of that. Um, to me, the pipette kind of confuses it. So I just completely ignore the pipette. You don't even have to use the pipette in MetaTrader 4 when you're entering in a trade. So I'm gonna show you what that looks like and we'll pretty much go from there. So make sure you're taking notes and I want you guys to drop any questions in the chat. So I'm gonna give you an example really quickly and let's go through a few examples together. So let me bring up my Word document. All right, so let's say if we got into USD CAD and we did a buy limit, okay? So we did a buy limit on USD CAD and our entry price was 1.29776. So this number here, let me highlight it. This number here is, sorry, I didn't wanna highlight that whole thing. Hold on one second. Let me undo that. So basically right here, this number six, that's your pipette. Okay, that's the pipette. So what I do with the pipette is I completely delete it. I just get rid of it. So I act like it's not even there. So if we were to enter USD CAD for a buy limit and we did a 10 pip take profit, our take profit would be 1.2988, all right? And let me show you exactly how I do that. So you can kind of do it in your head. Um, I recommend that you probably use a calculator if you need to at first. Once I did practice a few times, then I got used to it. But basically, when you drop the pipette, all you have to do is take 29.77, add 10, and you get 2988. So then what you would do is you would add the first digit back and the decimal back to the number. All right. So remember, I dropped the pipette, which was what was the pipette? I think it was six. Yeah, so it was six. So if you look, let me, for example, let me, um, let me take you to the IMO web analyzer real quick. And let me see what pair was that we were looking at. So let's go to USD CAD really quickly. So I'm going to type in USD CAD. Okay, so this is USD CAD. 
and we said that our entry price was 129776. Um, okay, so I just want to show you the point and percentage. So right here to the right, you see this is where price is. All right. So this is price. As you can see, price right now is at 1.29786. So when you are calculating pips, you could totally ignore, when you have five digits after the decimal, ignore the fifth digit, which is the pipette. Just act like it's not even there. Completely forget about it, okay? And so I'm gonna show you how you can do this on your phone and the steps that you will go through. So let me stop share and we're gonna go back to our document where is it okay so let's see here all right so that's the first example is that clear does it make sense is it confusing be honest if you don't get it just say i don't get it makes sense okay awesome so make sure you write this down and you take notes and we're going to do some examples where i'll give you a few examples and you can write them down and put your answer in the chat and I'm gonna walk you through it and we'll get the answer together, okay? So that's, that's one example. So now the exception to the rule is a yen pair. So now let's look at a yen pair. I remember when I was doing a yen pair, I was so confused. But before we move on to a yen pair, let me give you an example of a sell limit because we just did a buy limit. So now let's look at a sell limit. So I'm gonna show you an example of a sell limit for USD CAD. Mommy. Mommy's on a meeting, sweetheart. Can you go tell daddy? <laughs> okay, so, so we just did a buy limit for USD CAD. Now let's look at as if we were gonna get into a sell limit. So if our entry price was 129776 and we wanna do a 15 pip take profit, our take profit would be 1.2962. So remember, again, we're gonna drop the fifth digit. So when you're calculating pips, when you're calculating your entry price and take profit, like I said, and you have five digits after, after the decimal, drop the fifth digit and just ignore it. Act like it's, not, act like it's completely not there. So you would take 29.77 minus 15 equals 29.62. So then what you do is you just go and add the first digit and the decimal back to the number and that gives you your take profit, okay? So that's an example for a sale limit. And you probably wanna write this down if you haven't because some people get confused. So you might say, well, how do I know whether to add or to subtract you know, when it's a buy or a sale? I would get confused with that. So in a buy, to calculate your take profit, you add, all right? And in a buy, to calculate your stop loss, you subtract. So let me show you an example of that. So let's go to the I am a web analyzer. And let's say for USD CAD, let me get my horizontal tool. Let's say for USD CAD, I'm gonna get a horizontal line. And let's say right now price is at 129786. So I'm gonna drop my horizontal line right there. So let's say that our entry price is 1.29785. And I'm completely disregarding the fifth digit, okay? It's not even there, all right? So let me write that down really quickly. So I'm gonna write this down and I'm gonna show you exactly what I would do in my phone if I needed to really quickly or just kind of how I do it. So I say, okay, my entry price is 1.2978. And I am getting in for a, let's say we're going to get in for a sale, okay? So we're doing a sale and we want to do a 20 pip take profit. So let me stop share or let me do a new share. And let me share my phone with you. And we will go to, what is that? USD CAD, okay? So let me get this open. Okay. So let's go to USD CAD, okay? And let's say this is a swipe trade for, well, not a swipe trade, let's just say we're trading on our own. So like we said, I'm gonna grab a horizontal line. I'm gonna find one, two, nine, seven, eight. 
right there. Well, one, two, nine, seven, eight, okay? I know that's really small probably with you looking at it on the screen, but that's one, two, nine, seven, eight. So all I do is I go to my calculator on my phone and you can do it two ways, okay? You can do it, if it's a small number you're working with, normally what I do, if it's, you can do it two ways. So normally what I do, if I say, okay, my entry price is 1.2978, I'm only focused on the last, two, the last two digits. But if it's too confusing for you, all you have to do is go one, two, one, two, nine, seven, eight, and if we're doing a sale for USD CAD, that means that we're going to subtract, okay? We have to subtract. So if our take profit is going to be a 20 pip take profit, we subtract because the market is going down, not up. So you would subtract 20 and you get one, two, nine, five, eight. So now let me show you what this will look like on MetaTrader 4. So our entry is 1.2978. And our TP is one, two, nine, five, eight. Okay, so I wrote that down. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to MetaTrader 4, I'm gonna go to USD CAD, and I'm gonna do a sell limit. And I'm gonna put my lot size at 30 cents a pip. My, let me check the chat, make sure I'm not missing anything. Does it matter what time frame you're on? No, it doesn't matter what time frame you're on. It'll still be the same. Okay. So 1.29. And remember, I told you that I dropped the fifth digit. So I don't even need that. So that's the thing. Like when you're putting it in MetaTrader 4, you don't even need to add the fifth digit. Okay. So my entry price is 1.2978. And I'm going to do a 20 pip take profit. So I'm going to do 1.29. Five, eight. And if I wanted to do a 20 pip stop loss, all I'd have to do is add 20 to 29.78. Someone tell me in the chat, is that correct or is that false? If I were to calculate my stop loss for USD CAD, would I add my stop loss to 29.78, which is the entry? And tell me why. So type that into the chat. Please question. And if you don't comment, I'm going to call on you. Would you add your stop loss to the entry price of 29? OK, so let me see what your answers are. All right, come on, Brandon Boyd is sending messages. Okay, so you add 20 because if it goes above the price, you wanna be stopped out. Good job, yes, and that's your entry, so you want a 20 pip gap, yes, you would. Awesome, good job, you guys, yes. So our stop loss, if we add 20 to 12978, and see how when I drop the fifth digit, when I drop the pip edit, it adds a zero to it, that's completely okay, okay? So our stop loss would be one, two, nine, nine, eight, okay? And for some reason, it's not letting me enter, but that's okay. And sometimes when you're putting in your numbers, it, like, your, your information could be accurate, but it'll gray out and it won't let you. Sometimes that could be because of where price is fluctuating. Like, for example, if price has already, um, gone above your entry price or it's just a number of things so like for example we can see that price is at one two nine seven nine so in order for me to get in a sell limit i have to wait until price comes back past my entry and then i could get in but if i were to change this right now and i did two nine seven let's see if it lets me if i did two nine uh oh two nine eight two like if i got in higher i guess because of the spread like when it factors in the spread i'm not sure but sometimes you'll find that but if you need to just make changes or you want to get in at a particular price you can just type it over but it does that sometimes 
So when you do this, do you ever consider spreads when scalping? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> you have to consider the spread when scalping. So normally what I do is I add an extra pip. Like for example, if I'm going for a five pip take profit or a 10 pip take profit, I like to add a pip for my spread. So for example, if I normally trade on a dollar to three dollar lot size, sometimes lower, it depends on which account I'm trading in because I trade more than one account. So if I do a dollar lot size, for example, I'm just going to place this trade. So let's say this is a demo account. So if I, so it's okay. So I'm just going to do an instant execution. So let's do a sell by market instant execution where it's going to get me in right away. So basically I am paying a 40, 40 cent commission for this trade. So what I do is I add an extra pip to cover that cost. So that's what I do when scalping, okay? So that was one example. So we will stop there. I'm going to ignore this and let me see what questions you have. Let me go to our document. Okay, let me just check the chat really quick. Okay, awesome, you're welcome. All right, let me grab my notes. So we mentioned in a buy, you to calculate your take profit, you add. So now let's um, make sure you know what to do for a sale. So for a sale, in a sale to calculate your take profit, you subtract. And in a sale to calculate your take profit, you add, which we pretty much, I think, just went over that, okay? So I'll give you another example, and now we're gonna do a yen pair. So let's do a yen pair example, and then I'll show you on my phone as well. So let's do this. So with a yen pair, for example, let's see, let's look at CAD JPY, for example. So let's say CAD JPY, we're gonna get in for a buy limit. Our entry price is 86.496. So look how the CAD pairs are very different from the other pair that we just did that would that have five digits after the decimal. Yen pairs have three digits after the decimal, and the third digit is considered the pipette. So again, what I do with the pipette is I drop it, I completely delete it. Okay. So if I wanted to do a 20 pip take profit for CAD JPY. All I would do is add 20. And so you would do 86.49 plus 20 equals 86.69. All right. Your entry price is 86.49. You do a 20 pip take profit. So let's go and look at that. Okay. Let's look at it on the chart and just correlate it. So let's go to the IML Web Analyzer. And we're going to go to which pair is that? CAD JPY. So let's find CAD JPY. And let's grab our entry. So our entry is 8649. Let's wait for it to show up. Let's refresh. Okay, so let me type it in again, one sec. So CAD, JPY, okay. And we said that our entry price for CAD JPY is 86.49. I'm on a meeting, I'm on a meeting. 86.49. Okay, so we're gonna go here and we're gonna grab our horizontal line. And let's plot that on 86.49. So let me get the exact price. You wanna lead the meeting for us? Okay. 
Yes. I'm just kidding. Yes. <laughs> no, go tell daddy. Mommy's busy, okay? Mommy. No, Bree, mommy's that. Mommy's busy. Can you go tell daddy? Go tell daddy, okay? Daddy, tell me. Children are so sweet, aren't they? Okay, so the blue line is on my entry price. So at $86.49, all right? And we want to do a 20 pip take profit. So we said that our take profit would be $86.69. And let's go ahead and plot our take profit on here as well. So there. Okay. And let me just do this. All right, so, uh-oh, come on. Okay, 86.69, right? 59.69, yeah. And then we click okay. All right, so now we see. So our entry price for, a, what did we say we were doing, a buy? Yes, this is a buy limit. So if we did a buy limit on CAD JPY, this is where our entry would be right here and because we're expecting price to go long to go up then our take profit has to be up above price okay because we're expecting for price prices here it's going to go up see how it's going up now we want it to come all the way up to 86.69 which is our take profit and therefore our stop loss is going to be below price down here at the bottom and then for a sale, you're just gonna reverse it. So for a sale, if we wanted to switch that, let's say if we wanted to get into a sale for CAD JPY, we could keep our same entry price and we could do a 20 pip take profit um, down here and our stop loss would be above price, okay? So just know when price is going in the direction that you want it to go, for example, for a sale, you know that price is going down for a sale. And for a buy, price is always going up. So whatever direction it's headed in, that's gonna be your take profit, all right? And your stop loss is always gonna be the opposite direction. So now, let's go ahead and do, let me see what else I have. So we did a yen pair example and Let's go ahead and do another example from my phone really quickly. So since we're on CAD JPY, actually, let's go to a different pair. Let's go to GBP USD. And I'm going to ask you guys for the answer, okay? And we'll do this together. So that way, if you guys are watching the playback, then we can calculate this together. So let's say, for example, that we're getting in GBP USD and our entry price is 1.31. Four, eight. I'm only going to mention the four digits after the decimal because remember, we don't even pay attention to the pipette. Okay, so our entry price is 1.3148 and we want to do a, let's say we want to do a five pip take profit because we just want a quick scout. So we're in for a sale. So if we are in for a sale, what would our take profit be? If we did a five pip take profit, what would our take profit be? And what would our stop loss be for a five pip take profit? Let me see what your questions are. Oh, you're fast. <laughs> Noreen, you're on the ball. Okay, so let's give everyone else a chance too. And I'm gonna let you guys um, put your answer in. And if you think it's different from Noreen's, that's okay. Go ahead and put your answer in because we're gonna talk about how we got it, okay? Good job, one, three. Okay, all right. Okay, so, so, okay, good job. So your take profit would be 1.3153. All right. 
So our entry price was 1.3148 and our take profit of five pip take profit on a buy would be 1.3153. <laughs> oh, it's okay. You thought it was a sale. It's okay. If it was a sale, then that would have made sense. So you totally got it. Okay. And maybe I did say sell. I don't know. If I did, I'm sorry. <laughs> All right. So, and then we said our, did we do our stop loss? So we did our, so what would our stop loss be? A five pip take profit on GBP USD. If it was 1.3148, you basically would subtract five. Okay. And I'll let you guys type in your answer into the chat. So what would your stop loss be for GBP USD? Okay. Well, it's pretty much in the chat for you, but <laughs> okay. So it actually would be three one one three one four three one three one four three. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah, that's right. So let me show you on paper, okay? So let's go here. So this is what I do. So GBP USD, we said our entry was 1.3148. And we did a so normally what I do is I just go, you could do this. You could do one, three, one, four. Um, actually what I do, I'm sorry, ignore the first digit and the decimal and just do 3148 plus, sorry, plus five, okay? So that would be your take profit and your stop loss will be 31.48 minus five. Does that make sense? So I'm doing this like simple calculation because I want you guys to just see how I write it out, like how I go through everything. Yes, okay, we'll do an example with my phone. So let me write these numbers down and I'll go ahead and switch to my phone. So 3148, 1.3148 is our entry. And we're doing a five pip take profit and a five pip stop loss. All right, so let's switch to my phone. Okay, so let's do this. Okay, so for GBP USD, we're gonna enter into a buy. Remember, we're gonna drop the first digit and the decimal. So three, one, four, eight. That's all we're paying attention to, the four digits after the decimal. We're gonna subtract, no, I'm sorry, we're doing a buy, we're doing a buy, just kidding. Three, one, four, eight plus five equals 31.53. So 1.3153 would be your take profit, okay? And to get your stop loss, you just calculate 3148 minus five equals 3143. So then you're gonna add the first digit back. So it would be 1.3143 is what you would enter into your MetaTrader 4. So let me write that down. So stop loss would be 3143 and um, take profit would be 3153. So let's go do it. So let's go to GBP USD on my phone and let's find GBP USD and we're going to click trade. And if we're going to get into a buy, we want to select buy limit. We'll just leave the stop the uh, lot size at a dollar, which is 0 0.10. My entry price is 
eight. Remember, we dropped the pip bet. I want to do a five pip take profit, and I've already calculated that either in my head or either on paper. And basically, what I did was I dropped the one and the digit, and I took three, one, four, eight. And if we're getting into a buy, I'm sorry, we're going to add five because we want to do a five pip take profit. So we do three, one, four, eight plus five. So our take profit is three, one, five, three. Okay, that's our take profit. Our stop loss, and it's gonna automatically add the zero back in there for you. Our stop loss would be one, three, one, four, three. Okay, so that's what it would be. That's how you input it. All right, does that make sense? So those are the steps that I go through to calculate pips and to enter it correctly into my MetaTrader 4. So I'll give you an example of a buy and also an example of a sell for both yen pairs and also for just the regular pairs that you'll see. All right, so let's do another one and let's go to the IML web analyzer. So now you've seen me do it on my phone. Uh, let's go back to the web analyzer. We'll do one to two more maybe examples and then we'll go ahead and call it a night. All right, so let's go to a different pair this time. Let's go to, let's just go to AUDJPY and we'll do this together as well. And remember, we're just focusing on calculating because we want to make sure that we have the right numbers. So let's say that we are going to get in. I'm going to do a little higher number this time, okay? So let's say that our entry price is 81.06. And let's say we want to do a 60. Let's say we want to do a Let's say we want to do a 45 pip take profit. 45 pip take profit. What would our take profit be? What would our take profit be? Okay. Um, this would be a buy. We're doing a buy. So we're entering into AUDJPY. Our entry price is 8106, which is right up around up in here where price is kind of hanging out right now. 8106. And we're doing a 45 pip take profit on a buy. Good job. 8151. 81.51. So let me just show you guys. I'm going to switch over to my phone again for those who are not on the zoom and who are watching the playback how would i have calculated that so let me just show you so we can make it really really easy okay so all i do is i take 8106 so 81.06 is our entry price okay but on my phone i just turn it into 8106 8106 all right and all I do is if I want to do a 45 pip take profit on a buy, I'm going to add 45 and I get 8151. So you would just put 8151. So after you calculate it, you go to your MetaTrader 4, you find AUDJP, AUDJPY, yeah, AUDJPY. So let's say you're scrolling through MetaTrader 4 and you don't see it. It's actually in my list, but if you don't see it, you click this plus sign, depending on who your broker is. You could just type into the search and just look for the pair that you're looking for. If it doesn't show up, that means that it's somewhere on the list and you're just overlooking it. So just look again. So I'm just going to go ahead and click um, trade on here. And we said we were doing a buy limit. So we, we have it on a buy limit. Our entry price is 8106. And our take profit, we said we're doing a 45 pip take profit. So it's 8151 would be our take profit. Okay. And then remember, if we're doing a buy, you would subtract for your stop loss. 
if you hit the pencil, you can put all your pairs in alphabetical order. Oh, you genius. That is so true. If you hit the pencil on your phone, you can put all of your pairs in alphabetical order. I actually never do that. I've never um, done that, but yeah, I was informed about that too. But that is really nice. For some reason, all of my pairs disappear a lot. Like I always have to go back and keep adding it every time I trade. I don't know why it does that. So thanks, Noreen. You guys are awesome. This was really good practice. Do you feel that this was helpful? Is there anything else you want me to go over in this training? Yeah, I have an iPhone too. So mine, it, it just does something really weird. So I'm glad I'm not the only one. <laughs> okay, so let's stop share on this. Awesome. Well, I'm glad that this was very helpful for you guys. Do you have any other questions? For those of you, if you're watching the playback and you guys have questions about calculating pips or if there's something else you're struggling with and you need help with, just let us know and we'd be happy to help because I'm sure if you're struggling, there's a ton of other people who are struggling. <laughs> so anything that I learn, I try to just share it with you all and just pass my knowledge on because I know what it's like. Like all of us, I'm sure know what it's like to be new and learning Forex. And so I love that we have such a supportive community within IML and we kind of all stick together. So thank you guys for showing up tonight. And I'm glad that this was helpful. Um, you're so welcome. You all have a fantastic night. I'll see you guys later and I will have this playback up for you shortly. All right. You guys have a good night.